In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Your iniquities have separated between you and your God, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. They are all gone out of the way, they are together become unprofitable. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The scripture hath concluded all under sin. The wages of sin is death. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. I declare unto you the gospel, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God. And if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. He that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. And we know that the Son of God has come, and hath given us an understanding, that we may know him that is true, and we are in him that is true, even in his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Even so, come Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.